guys, welcome to my channel, K Fist, my life. I'm on my way out, but I wanted to do a quick video um, about not becoming your struggle as you overcome your struggle. A lot of times we go through struggles, and struggles may last for a short amount of time, or they may last for a long period of time. I know personally my struggle lasts has lasted. <laughs> It lasted for several years, you know, I um, had two fires, and I lost everything in those fires twice. Um, shortly after that fire, I went through a divorce. Shortly after that, I um, lost my family. My mother and father didn't speak to me anymore. And after that, I was homeless for a couple of years. So, I've gone through struggles. Um, there will always be there will always be struggle. Um, I know we all know people who are going through struggles and if they are sad about something, if they're going through if the struggle makes them sad and they are a sad person all the time. If they are, you know, mad about their struggle then they are mad to the world, you know. And I think we all have to learn that just because we are going through a struggle, we don't have to live in that struggle. Um, I think the thing that really made me think about that the most was as for the last 16 years, I've been a professional hip hop choreograph choreographer, dancer, and teacher. And I had a class that I would teach at the Centennial Sportsplex on Saturdays. And there was a woman that would take my class. She's still a Facebook friend of mine on my Facebook uh, friends list. Her name was Tima Elcat. And every Saturday she would come and take the class. She worked really hard. It was a fitness hip hop class. She would work really hard. It was a really fun time. And one day they were all really, really serious in the class. And I made the statement. I said, oh, guys, relax. We're just having fun. We're not trying to cure cancer here. Everybody laughed or whatever. And so after class... Tima told me that she actually had cancer. And I I thought, man, I'm, I'm so sorry I made that statement. It was pretty, you know, insensitive. And she said, no, it's not a big deal. I'm just here to have fun and, and just have a good time. Well, she passed away about two months after that conversation. But she continued coming up until she physically was unable to come anymore. And I thought... This, this woman is actually going through a struggle for her life right now. And she doesn't really know how much time she has left. So for her to actually say, I'm going to set my struggle down. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about cancer right now. Right now I'm going to be a dancer. And I'll worry about that later. I thought that was a great example of someone separating themselves from their struggle because you don't have to carry it with you all the time. There's a an ancient Asian proverb that I read once and it was about carrying a canoe across a river and it was saying that and I'm likening it to the struggle you know you carry that struggle on your back or that boat on your back because you need it in order to cross a river. But once you cross the river, you no longer need the boat, so you don't need to carry it with you anymore. You put it down. And there are times when, yeah, you may be going through something and you may be struggling, but right at that moment, you don't need to carry that struggle with you. You can put that struggle down and pick it back up again when you need it to get where you need to go. And so I thought, wow, that I've never seen anybody or I've never known anybody to take, to, to take my class and then actually pass away. That was someone I spoke to that much. So it was very inspirational for me to see um, her do that. And I, that kind of stuck with me even going through my struggles. You know, there, there was a time when I was not the person I am now. You know, I had been a, arrested a couple times for, you know, shoplifting or stealing something. And, you know, back when I was 19 and 20, that was about 22 years ago. 
But over the course of me being homeless, there was one instance where I was really hungry and I didn't have enough money to get what I wanted to get to eat. I could only afford something really, really small. And I knew I was still going to be hungry. And I remember looking at <laughs> looking at this chicken and I thought it would be really easy for me to just take this chicken. I could, I could slip it under my coat. Nobody would see it. I could get away with it. But I thought, Keith, if you do that, you are going to become the person that you fought so hard to get away from. You are going to become the epitome of what people would think somebody who's going through a struggle is supposed to act like. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to become that person? Do you really want to become what you're going through? Is it really necessary? So I didn't do it. I thought it's not worth it. So I don't want to rant for too long. But the point of this conversation is, you know, we all may be a result of a collection of choices. Let me rephrase that. Our present may be a result of a collection of choices that we made in the past. But our future is a result of the gifts that we give ourselves in the present. So don't become your struggle as you're overcoming your struggle, guys. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching that last video I did about uh, leaving Jehovah's Witnesses. It's gotten over a thousand views. And I know that's not a lot for some people, but I had no idea that that many people would watch. You know, I think about it as if I was talking to somebody or speaking about something and a thousand people came to hear me speak, um, <laughs> which would be like so mind blowing. So thank you so much for your support. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I am going to be releasing a bunch of videos this week. So I have a lot of conversations that uh, I want to try to start uh, in the comment section, all right? So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Peace.